Hi, welcome to my vblog on identity and authentication management in SAP Business One. In this short video, we're going to look at the latest features we introduced with Feature Pack 2305. Let's start off by looking at two-factor authentication setting. So we'll start by adding a user. It's now possible to tick this checkbox and make two-factor authentication enabled for the user mic. After creating the user, we will bind the user to companies. So we can see the option that we added to do a search and marking the relevant company. And you can also see that the user mic will be newly created in the database. In case I forgot to bind to additional companies, I can always go back, click on bind, and add or select all companies for binding. And the user will also be newly created in one go across all these companies. Now let's take a look at the login. Because I enable two-factor authentication for user Mike, the user needs to set up his two-factor authentication, do the initial activation, basically linking his settings to either one of the applications, free OTP or Google Authenticator. And this is a one-time setting. After typing the code and providing a relevant device name, the user is requested to change his password because it's the first sign in. And the user is then progressing to the choose company window. He can see the relevant companies he was binded to and click OK to sign in. Now let's take another look, this time just with the two-factor authentication. And this is the actual screen where we get the two-factor authentication in action. Another very attractive feature we introduced with feature 2305 is the ability to change a user's password directly from the sign-in screen. Let's take a look at that. So we can see the change password has been added in this screen. And the user will go through a change password flow, providing a one-time code in case two-factor authentication is enabled. and setting his new password. We also now support single logout. Let's take a look how this works by going into the Office 365 setup, signing in with our user mic, providing the 2FA, and in parallel, we will also open a web client. You will see straight away that in by opening the web client, I was already single signed on, so I don't need to provide again my user credentials because I'm in the same browser, And I'm now in the web client. Going back to the Office 365 setup, I will do a sign out. And 
going to the web client, refresh the session. And automatically, I will be signed out as well. That's single logout. And now to a feature that a lot of you have been asking about is user binding from business one client. So good news is it's back. Let's take a look. So I go into the user setup and first of all, I create a user. After creating the user, I will be able to do the binding operation directly from the client. Under general, we have the binding button enabled and I'm able to select the relevant identity provider and see from the dropdown list the IDP users that are available for binding. So that was it for this video. For more information on identity and authentication management, I highly recommend going to the help portal and checking out the identity and authentication management user guide, as well as the what's new guide. So thank you for watching and see you in my next video.